New Tacoma TRD lift kit, a ripoff? It kind of depends. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you? today. Pretty good here. So is the new Tacoma TRD lift kit a ripoff? And it really does kind of depend, I think, on what you're looking for. You know, since I put that video out, I've been getting some feedback, getting some comments. Some people have been going out, talking to the dealerships, seeing what it's all about, getting pricing, and also have found out something interesting about it. First of all, I have heard that it's really going for anywhere from $2,500 to $3,500. Now, that's just a bit higher than the $2,100 that I guessed, just based on labor rates and the price that Toyota says it's going for. Now, it does, of course, include the TRD Pro Grill. Now, that is worth about four or 500 bucks, plus the labor to install it if you don't do it yourself. So really, the cost of the lift kit itself is a little bit lower than that 25 to 3,500 bucks. Now, it only is a two one lift. That means two inches in the front, one inch in the rear. So it's nothing huge, but it depends on what you're looking for. If you're just looking for a little bit higher on stock tires and stock wheels, maybe it's okay. Now, the big thing, at least for me, you can't run 33s on it. And really, I think, from my experience, you really can't even comfortably run 33s on a 3.2 lift. You need really three and a half inches in the front, I think, to avoid any kind of rubbing or any kind of chopping or anything like that. And that's with a minus 12 offset. So is it really worth going out and getting this lift just to keep the stock tires on it? I don't know, not really for me. Now, the cost. Supposedly, again, 25 to 3,500 bucks. You know, I had my lift done and it's very similar. It has Bilsteins on the front. It has Bilsteins on the rear. Although I have 6112s on the front, it looks like they're putting 5100s on the front for the TRD lift kit. But I also have new coils with a built-in spacer. So very similar to what this TRD lift kit is, but mine was 1600 bucks. And it gave me three and a half inches in the front, which allows me to run 33 inch tires. That's a big thing, I think. Now, there's also a little bit of controversy as to whether you can get this lift yourself. Apparently, there's an option at several dealers to buy the lift and put it on yourself. Now, I'm not clear as to whether or not that includes the TRD Pro Grill, and that fog light blackout. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute. But if it includes all that stuff and you can get it minus the labor, assuming you can do it yourself, probably not a bad deal. Again, if you're just looking for a slight lift, I mean, a two inch lift while, you know, is noticeable, isn't gonna be anything huge. But if you're looking to do it yourself, that's probably not a bad idea. But how many of us are equipped with the knowledge and the tools, primarily, to be able to do that? I don't know. Now, let's talk about that fog light blackout. You know, as part of the package, they include these little blackouts, I guess. They're just plastic pieces, vinyl pieces, whatever, to replace or black out your fog lights, to get rid of your fog lights, let's be clear, to just get rid of them. Now, the reason they're doing that from everything that I have found, everything that I have heard, and what some people have been told by dealerships is because raising the truck obviously is gonna raise the fog lights as well, right? And that's going to create a hazard, at least by governmental standards, for people who are oncoming traffic, right? You'd be shining those fog lights in the eyes of the people coming against you. So that's why they're doing it. Now, this is a little bit of a wink, wink, nod, nod thing because I've also been told that a lot of dealerships at your request will just not put them in. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not paying for those little pieces, right? 
I'm sure that's still part of the kit and to be compliant, the dealerships are still forced to sell those to you. They're gonna make a little more money on them anyway, right? Whether you use them or not, it doesn't matter. I guess they can be coasters. Maybe you can set them on that nightstand next to your bed or something, I don't know. Kind of a crazy thing to me. I think it should be an option to you as to whether, or for you, as to whether or not you really want those. I mean, if you don't want them, why in the world would you have to pay for them, right? So the big question is, is it a ripoff? Is the new Tacoma TRD lift kit a ripoff? I think it all boils down to what you, the consumer, is looking for. You know, if again, you just want something to give a little bit of a lift to the truck and you don't have a problem leaving the stock wheels and tires on it, not going anything with anything bigger, eh, it's not too bad. And let's not forget, you also have that warranty. You know, if you do it at the moment that you buy the truck, you know, when you buy it brand new, it's a three year, 36,000 mile warranty. The same as what we have on the Tacoma itself, right? That's not too bad. That means that if anything goes wrong, it's gonna be covered versus having it done at a shop. Although I will say, most reputable shops are going to cover the lift for that period of time anyway, although some of them are probably more like a year. But still, you're going to have warranty from the shop, so it's not like you're going to run out of there and now it's all on you. Plus, what can really go wrong? I mean, if you're at a reputable shop and they're putting a block in the back, a spacer in the front, maybe new coils, whatever, unless their workmanship is poor, there's really not a lot that's gonna go wrong with the materials themselves. But it is good peace of mind, I guess, to know that you have that warranty on your truck, especially if you're buying it brand new. And that's another thing to consider. You know, I know there are a lot of people out there who have shied away from lifts, even though they want them, because they're concerned that it's gonna void the warranty for something else, which is a big fallacy, of course. It's not gonna void your whole truck warranty. It could void the warranty on a particular part if that part that you put on causes the failure of something else, that's for sure. That's if you don't have it done at Toyota. So there is a peace of mind thing to consider there. If you wanted a lift or you've wanted one in the past, but you just weren't comfortable with having it done at a third party shop, well now you do have the option, even though you can't get what I think the Tacoma really needs, and that's at least a three, and eh, three and a half inch lift in the front to be able to accommodate those bigger wheels and tires. And you know, for somebody like me, I don't like to be limited either. You know, if I'm gonna go out and spend 25 to 3,500 bucks on a lift, I don't wanna be limited within reason of the size of tires that I can put on it, right? I think it looks awesome on the Tacoma to go with those bigger wheels and tires, or at least the bigger tires. So that's something to consider too, if you're thinking about this Tacoma TRD lift kit. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of that. I'd be curious, do you think it's a ripoff or do you think it's a good thing? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two other channels. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator, sitting right back there. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, all about my experiences with the Honda Civic Hatch and the Honda Civic Type R. Check them out. If you like them, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.